weekly roundup where you will find the top stories in the data and analytics ecosystem in India. So let's get started. In order to promote security and privacy in the online era, Google announced Topics, a privacy sandbox proposal for internet-based advertising. So the company wants to block tracking cookies on Chrome by the end of 2023. And that would mean that companies will no longer be able to track what website a user is checking out. Last year, Google released the Flock Federated Learning of Cohorts proposal for the same cause, which is now being replaced by Topics. Moving on, International Business Machines or IBM dominates the mainframe market with a 90% share. Now, the tech giant has announced the launch of a new model of IBM Z series mainframe. It is expected to hit the markets either in the first or second half of 2022. The major portion of IBM revenue comes from consulting and selling hardware devices. To expand its business, IBM decided to be on hybrid cloud and artificial intelligence instead of the public cloud space. Next, MIT researchers have developed EquiDoc, a machine learning model to predict the synthetic antibody complex that forms when two proteins bind together. For example, Synthetic antibodies can bind with the virus's spike proteins and prevent it from entering a human cell. EquiDoc can predict the protein complex in 1 to 5 seconds once the model is trained, which is 80 to 500 times faster compared to the latest tech in the market. Due to the massive power that quantum computing holds in transforming industries, investors have taken notice and pumped in huge investment to companies that are bringing innovations to this transformative area. Now the World Economic Forum taking note of this wants to adopt a new information processing paradigm. In fact, a pitch book report of September 2021 said that investors had put in $1.02 billion into quantum computing companies till September of last year, which was more than what the industry received in the last three years. India too is taking its progress in quantum computing seriously by taking steps to ensure that it benefits from early adopter advantages of embracing this tech. Moving on, Apple has taken a rare approach and rolled out a new feature for customers with an iPhone 12 or newer device. Users will be able to use face identification feature even when they are wearing a mask. Your iPhone can recognize important unique features of your anatomy. Your eyes, your glasses, the top of your nose, birthmarks or freckles on your forehead despite wearing a mask. Coming to India, the Union Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman during the budget speech of 2022 made some major announcements for the tech industry. The government announced the introduction of the central bank digital currency to boost the digital economy. The Reserve Bank of India will start issuing the digital rupee in a year. Now, cryptocurrencies and other virtual digital assets will be taxed at 30%. No deduction will be allowed while computing this except for the cost of acquisition. Now, the minister also added that government would encourage artificial intelligence, geospatial system and drones, semiconductor and its ecosystem. It will develop supportive policies, light touch regulation, facilitative actions to build domestic capacities and promotion of research and development. And now on to fundings and acquisitions. Scalar, an edtech upskilling startup that provides courses to working professionals in India raises $55 million in new financial funding. Moglix, a B2B marketplace, doubled its evaluation from $1 billion to $2.6 billion in just 8 months. Sony Entertainment announced a deal to acquire Bungie, the developer of Destiny, for $3.6 billion. The acquisition arrived shortly after Microsoft's announcement that it will be acquiring Activision Blizzard in a deal worth $68.7 billion. That's all for today. Keep watching this space for more updates in the industry.